Hi guys, welcome back to Finpact. Today, let's talk about my favorite, favorite cryptocurrency, Cardano. If you guys have been here a while, then you know that it's my favorite. I have been an ADA fan for a very long time and I have invested in ADA last year around October time and it has shown good returns. So let's talk about ADA and what's been happening with the current price. So guys, before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button down below and also that subscribe button. And if you're an ADA fan, hit that like button. And a special thank you to everyone who has joined my Patreon. The community is growing. There is so much support on there. I post what I buy and sell in real time. Any trades I make, there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one support with me. You can message me your questions on there depending on which tier you select. And the community is great. Everyone discusses what they're doing, what crypto they're holding, what stock they're buying. And it's just a fantastic way of supporting my channel. So let's begin. We all know why this rally is happening. It's the introduction of smart contracts. This is an upgrade we have been waiting for quite some time. It's around the end of the Gogan era and it is the Alonzo upgrade. So this makes Cardano fully functioning with smart contract capabilities. So the rally up in Cardano's price is fueled by the implementation of smart contract functionality. This is the Alonzo upgrade. We've been waiting for this for quite some time, as you know, and now it's here. And Cardano's price has been going up like crazy. I want to talk about some price predictions in this video. I've done some technical analysis to show you some support and resistance and where we think the price is heading and when you can make a short trade and potentially whether you should long it right now or not. So let's go into coin market cap and look at the overall crypto market sentiment. So Bitcoin has been down 2% in the last seven days, but overall it is, you know, pretty much shown that retracement. So Bitcoin has shown recovery in its price. Now we don't know if this is going to be a trajectory for it to head downwards. You can see that it has corrected itself just around here, but we could see it rally up to the upside more towards the end of the year, I believe so. And this has given confidence for the rest of the crypto market. Now the reason we've seen Cardano rally is because of the Alonzo upgrade as part of its Gogan era. So Cardano's price right now is standing at $2.15. And if we scroll down to the chart so if we see in the chart we saw what we saw in 2018 very similar pattern are going up to all-time high and then we see that crash down and then i did say if you guys were part of my patreon to buy the dip here anyone on my patreon we made profits so yeah we saw that happen in 2018 but the thing is the bull market is not over they say that bull markets in the newer cycles last longer now we were contemplating in my previous videos whether we think it's a dead cat bounce where the bull market is over and we're going to go ahead downwards the crypto market has been positively supported by huge fundamental milestones that are taking place towards the end of the year which gave us belief as to why we think the bull market is not over technical and analysis did suggest that it was over. I did initially think it was perhaps going to be a dead cat bounce, but the crypto market has held strong. We saw Cardano's Alonzo upgrade at Goganero, so we've seen the rally there. When Polkadot starts fully releasing their parachains, we will see rallies there. Join the Patreon. I will post when that happens. Anyway, um, then we will have Ethereum's EIP 1559. So that hard fork will lead to a rally in Ethereum's price and potentially that could drive the rest of the altcoins to follow. So let's go on to Cardano's chart and where we think the price is heading. So in the short term, I've drawn some support and resistance lines here. We will see a correction around this point here, around $2.04. And then the likelihood is, because the bull market is going to continue with this fundamental news coming, we will see the price go up this way. Now, there will be corrections along the way, as you know, you're used to the volatility in crypto, if you know. Um, and this can go up to the $4 region. The $4 region is the most realistic region. And this is the point here that I will start taking profits. So if we saw the overall since 2021 and this bull market continues, at least nearing end of September, we could see a $4 Cardano. I will, however, be taking profits perhaps a little bit before. It's always better to have that insurance rather than get burnt by trying to get greedy and take profits right at the top. So around there, we will see a correction and then it will depend on the rest of the bull market continuing into 2022 and the overall crypto market price rallies, whether we see further price increases. A $5 Cardano is not unrealistic. 
that will be more down to the rest of the crypto market booming. But right now, throughout the end of September, maybe going into October, we can see prices around $3.95 for Cardano. And let's just go into this article on Planet Crypto on Cardano's Gogan and Cardano's Alonzo launch. So it's in their roadmap. So you can check this out on the Cardano's website anyway. So Cardano is seeing a drastic increase in price 2021 because much like Ethereum's EIP-1559 hard fork and the Bitcoin taproot upgrade, Cardano is set to undergo more changes in 2021. Invest in Cardano now. I would say wait till the $2.05 dip before you buy. I will be posting about this on my Patreon. I know I mentioned this a few times, but if you want to make profits, join the Patreon. Um, so the initial Gogan release date was March 2021, but similar to the Shelly update that had that did have delays. And that's why we saw Cardano's price flailing around a bit. Everyone was saying, oh, it's a sleeping giant. It's a sleeping giant. And I said this, it was a sleeping giant. But the thing is, just, but I said, hold on, because the IOHK team that is run by Charles Hoskinson, its CEO, has a very different kind of vision. The way he implements Cardano's roadmap is very different to how other cryptos start and especially we can't even compare it to the tokens you know which one i'm talking about <laughs> um so yes yeah, so he has this approach of being peer-reviewed checking through academic papers like it's like being back at uni doing PhDs or something. He has verified Cardano's protocols and blockchain technology with cryptographers around the world from renowned universities. So someone who is so diligent in making sure that every little development protocol is verified, cross-referenced, and made sure that it is secure is going to ensure that whenever they do launch what they launch, so the smart contracts, it will be done in the best possible way without problems like hacking or issues occurring the same way we've seen other crypto projects rush into delivery of certain uh, certain functionalities. So that's one of the reasons I've always been very keen on Cardano because it's about this whole patience, quality and peer reviewing rather than rushing in with a concept for a quick price rally and a quick exit, you know? So yeah, the Alonzo release date, Nigel Hemsley, Cardano's head of delivery, announced in August development update that Cardano Alonzo mainnet hard fork will take place on September 12th. That price rally, you guys, I was telling you about where it will go up to $4. September 12th, leading up to there, we will see a price rally. I mean, the crypto market is holding strong right now. So Alonzo is split into three stages. Blue, white, and purple. The first testnet phase is Alonzo Blue, launched on 27th May, followed by Alonzo White. Alonzo Purple was also released in early August and is now nearing completion. And this is why we are seeing this huge rally. I think this rally will continue. I definitely think it will continue up until September 12th, which is when we will see what I showed you in the charts where we will see those lines that I had drawn earlier that have gone to around $4. I will be taking profits a little bit earlier because remember, in cryptos, it's so, so easy to get carried away with greed. So many people last year, when Cardano's price was rallying, so the previous rally we saw here when it hit around, you know, $2.45 or something, I had so many friends messaging me saying, I want to buy Cardano. And I'm like, really? You want to buy Cardano now and not when I told you to buy it? Do you want to lose money? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like obviously buying a crypto anytime, especially if you're holding for five to 10 years is going to be fine. But that means you're still going to have to see your portfolio go through turbulence when you can easily just buy when the market is fearful. Always buy when the market is fearing it, when the prices are dumping, not when the prices are rallying. In fact, if you are going to make some short term trades, then I would say when the price is rallying, when it gets around four dollars, I would short it if I were you. But that's on the trading side. You know, most of my stuff on this channel is not really about the trades. It's more about the long term investment of good fundamental projects. So, yeah. And also another piece of my dog is pissing me off. Oh my God. I don't know how to get him to shut up. And also guys, institutional money has been flowing into Cardano. Whales have been buying. So this article on Daily Hodl, we can see that institutional money flowing into Cardano as sentiment in the crypto market recovers. So 
Crypto asset management firm CoinShares says that institutional investors are taking an interest in Cardano ADA as the broader crypto markets show signs of recovery. In a new weekly report, CoinShares says that Ethereum competitor registered inflows worth $1.3 million in the past week. Year to date, Cardano has witnessed institutional investments accounting to $28 million. I sound like a news reporter. BBC, hire me. <laughs> that sounded kind of news reporter, you know? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, and we are seeing some other inflows in other cryptocurrencies, but let's leave this video about Cardano. I want to keep this about Cardano. So yeah, flows by asset. Cardano, compared to some of the other altcoins, so these ones here, 1.3 million, 2.1 million, 39 million year to date flows into Cardano. So very high compared to some of the other altcoins. Obviously, let's not compare it to Bitcoin and Ethereum. They are the major dogs in the market. So we can't really compare that it with that yet. But maybe one day Cardano does become that Ethereum killer that we have all been saying it could be. So we will see then. But as of now, you can see that Cardano is now very quickly becoming the third largest cryptocurrency. Okay, not technically yet. We still have Binance Coin BNB still there, which is showing some good support. But the main rally we're seeing is in Cardano because of the Alonzo upgrade, as we know. So yeah, guys, what do you guys think of Cardano? Where do you think the price is going? Are you going to be buying? Are you going to be shorting? What are your price predictions? Do you hold ADA in your portfolio? And don't forget to hit that like button down below, especially if you're a Cardano fan, you guys. And also check out my Patreon so you can see what I buy and sell in real time and you get a lot of support with me, depending on which tier you select. So I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.